Okay, today I'm going to throw a large platter. Uh, so the base will be wider. And uh, also I choose the clay when I'm throwing something that it's wider instead of a taller. Uh, I use a softer clay. So this piece of a porcelain is uh, it's softer than I normally use. throwing a large platter uh, you need to make your base wider so you have a more support so I normally uh, push it down my clay And after I uh, roughly uh, push it down, uh, I'm aiming at the uh, wider base, but uh, I'm not going to spread it out uh, to this wide yet. I'm going to start to uh, open the hole now. Large platter, I usually leave my base a little bit thicker. And since I'm throwing a platter. I don't need to have this wall this tall. So um, after I initially open my hole, uh, I'm going to uh, compress down. This part I'm going to compress it down, push. So when you are open a platter, uh, people tend to push a little bit too hard. So once you spread it out, uh, the outer part is lower than the center point. Uh, usually you don't wanna uh, you don't wanna do that because uh, later on it's gonna be hard for you to make a nice curve if your center point is too high. So make sure that when you're opening a uh, little bit lower in the middle in the center and i'm curving my finger to uh, try to spray the clay it's more efficient that way uh, when you have a smaller area touching you create more pressure to the clay
I'm trying to live the sidewall. After I take care of the wall, the side wall here, and take care of the center, try to spray the clay more evenly. Okay, and now it's a good time to use my throwing rib, the wood rib. Uh, this is five inches to uh, compress the clay. The good thing for my rib is that even you cross over the center point, you are not going to gouge in your tool because this part, this part you have a, I have a curve here, so even it's crossing the center point, it, it's still okay. With this rib, you could uh, compress enough. But usually, if you don't compress enough, you're gonna end up with a uh, crack, S crack. So, with that uh, throwing rib, uh, you just go back and forth. And uh, since it's, it's a solid, so you should be able to uh, compress. Your base will be uh, dense enough. And then after using that uh, wooden rib, you could use a, a small a metal rib to smooth the surface.
this curve here on my metal rib to uh, smooth the curve. So the uh, large platter is made. Um, also, you don't want to let your platter dry on the bed without cutting it first because uh, once the platter dries, it's going to be super hard to cut it through. So when it's still wet, uh, you want to get a wire and cut it off. Use a, a wooden knife to just go in there and cut a little initial group and then you're gonna insert the wire right there okay insert it and then just slowly spin the wheel spin your wheel slowly and use your thumb to uh, press down the wire um, since the, the wheel is spinning, so it's easier to cut it that way. Okay, there are two recap what I have done. Um, first, I use about uh, 12 pounds of uh, clay and I center, try to center the base wider. And then uh, I start to open it up wide, open it, and then compress down on the side of it. And after I spread out the clay, I keep on using my um, a wooden rib so this is the rib to uh, compress the center point this uh, when your base is wider and you want to uh, emphasize on compressing um, this uh, uh, wooden rib is perfect for throwing platter and the bowls um, uh, even if you uh, come you go over the center point you're still okay um, that's the three holes that your finger can fit in there so you can have a better grip so to compress a couple times, you can even uh, uh, push a little more uh, horizontal way. So uh, using this part to uh, compress it, and then you can go all the way to the the, the side of uh, the rim here. Um, uh, actually, I have two uh, sizes of uh, uh, a wooden rim, uh, five inches and four inches. Four inches it may be uh, good for throwing balls, but uh, if you do a large pattern. Uh, five inches is, is a better one. Okay, and after I finish, and then I use the um, the metal rib to uh, smooth the uh, the mark from the wood texture. So smooth it, and after that, uh, smooth the rim, and then I remove my splash pen and then use a the wire to cut it. So, and then maybe uh, when you are drying. The rim might dry a little bit faster than the center point, so uh, normally you want to dry it more evenly. So if that's the case, the rim is drying too fast, you might use a plastic bag to wrap around your rim so that it's more evenly dry. And that way, uh, you you might not, uh, you, it's better to, uh, to trim when your piece is more evenly and also to avoid the S crack. If you have your room dry too fast and middle still wet, you might have an S crack. So uh, that's the tip for making a large platter. Okay, thanks for watching.